Next for Harris, um, your character Conrad exemplifies the idealism of the era. What makes Conrad tick, and what did you like best about playing him? Wow, great question. I think that um, you know, I think at that at that time in history, everyone was certainly my character's age were going off and and, and joining the British military and and kind of being defined by by their bravery and I think being held back by his father's uh, uh, ideals and pacifism is it's something that deeply frustrates him you know and I think that's um, one of the first things I as an actor latched onto you know and tried to uh, l sort of find the role through is, is that frustration and that desire to want to discover the world for yourself and um, yeah, it was it was it was an interesting sort of dynamic between Rafe and I. So I, I enjoyed that. Um, what was the most fun about playing in a period film that also oh, had yes. the action and spectacle of the Kingsman films? Yes, yes. Sorry. Uh, well, <laughs> it's not it's not every well, you know. I, I think I was very lucky in the sense that I got to have these very dramatic scenes with. With Rafe and, and Gemma and Jaiman, but also get to go off and and do the action as well. And I think there's not many projects where you have that. Um, so just I, I was kind of spoiled in that regard. Yeah. Can you tell us about filming the battle scenes in the trenches and how realistic was it, and how did you feel about it? Well, I, I guess I'll start. You know, it was very realistic, Matthew and the whole. Um, the whole construction team, the art department, the set deck—they really like went to town on, on all of those scenes. Like, they they uh, they transformed like a, an airfield in in the English countryside into trenches, and you know it was all there. It was all it was all it had all been built. So I really didn't have to, um, I didn't have to wander far in terms of imagination. So. Yeah, I think with those sort of scenes, you just you just try and there's so many elements, and they have multiple cameras, and there's like explosions and timings, and it, it is quite scary. It becomes more than just you notice how switched on your mind is in those moments because you have so many things to remember, and if you if you mess up or you go at the wrong time or you don't hit your mark, you know there's there's 20 other elements that are uh, that are going to be affected by it. So. I think it just really forces you to be like um, be focused in those moments, you know. And let's see, next one. Um, this is going to also be to both of you. It's tell us about working with uh, director Matthew Vaughn and his style. Just going off of what Gemma just said as well. I think Matthew, he's he's incredibly impressive you know he takes risks within this within this genre and I uh, I felt like he put a lot of trust in me to portray the role and and he was really sort of kind and caring with it and I think um, at a, the size of a film like this and the amount going on he was also such an important presence of you know keeping everyone calm and and just like having assurance in your director is so important so yeah it was great